Hi, this is Lewis from NDXTesting.com. This video is for patients who are going to take the EMG test and find themselves a little nervous because they do not know what to expect. Well, I want, I'm going to give you a very basic five minute explanation and that way you could be mentally prepared when you go for your exam. Now, what is an EMG? Well, an EMG is a nerve and muscle examination or a muscle study. And those are the two key words that you need to remember just in case someone asks, what's an EMG? Well, it's, an e it's a nerve and muscle study. Now, usually when you go for your test, the nerve examination is going to be performed first. Now, some doctors do perform a uh, nerve study, but that is normally done by a highly trained technologist or a registered technologist. Now, I kind of recommend for you to have this test by a registered technologist because that individual has proven that he has that he has the skills and he he has also passed a very complex and difficult test, and he has a deep understanding of electrodiagnostic medicine components and also clinical understanding of electrodiagnostic medicine. So that type of technician will be able to uh, understand your needs uh, a lot better. But that does not mean that a technician that is not registered cannot perform the uh, study. So the technician is going to use electrical impulses uh, on the extremities, I meaning arms and, leg and legs. He's going to use electrical impulses to stimulate uh, your nerves. Now also know for your own personal education that all the nerves you have from your shoulders to your fingertips originates from your neck. So the neck is like the fuse box of the upper extremities. Likewise too, all the nerves you have from your hips to your toes originates from the lower back. So the lower back is like the, the fuse box of the lower extremities. Also, every single muscle you have in your body, you have a nerve attached to it. So when we do motor nerve examinations, we stimulate a nerve and we record uh, from a muscle. So the technician is going to use electrical impulses to stimulate your nerves. He's not going to use a needle electro. He's only going to use electrical impulses. So moving on to the EMG. Now an EMG is usually performed by a neurologist or a physiatrist. Those are the main two doctors that kind of specialize in, in this field, in the field of electrodiagnostic medicine. So they're going to use a needle electro. They're going to penetrate the muscle and record the activity of that muscle. And depending on your clinical diagnosis, that could either be done on the neck muscles, uh, shoulder muscles, uh, arm muscles, lower back muscles, the hip muscles, maybe thigh muscles, and muscles uh, below the knee. Now, the neurologist or physiatrist, when they study that muscle, if they have pinpoint precision as far as where they're going to uh, sample that muscle, and if they have an MRI and they, they go with their hands, you really have nothing to worry about. I also want you to know that the needle electro is not designed to withdraw, to withdraw blood or insert any sort of medication. All it's going to do is kind of just pinch it and record the activity of that muscle. So if you can pinch yourself hard, well, that's basically what it's going to feel like. If you ever had acupuncture in the past, that that's basically what it's going to feel like. So in summary, if, if the uh, technologist uh, using the electrical impulses, if he uses the exact amount that you need for the nerves to depolarize or for the, for the nerves to react, you're, you're going to be fine. If he has pinpoint precision as far as where he's going to stimulate, you don't, you're not going to have a problem. If the doctor's good with his hands, if he knows how to use that needle electro, and he's delicate as far as what he's going to do, you have nothing to, uh, to worry about. A couple of things. So uh, if you have a pacemaker, you should not have nerve examination because the electrical impulses can alter that pacemaker. If you suffer from seizures and you maybe had them like a couple of months, then you need to consult with, with your uh, clinician. Maybe perhaps a nerve examination should not uh, be performed. And also when you go for your test, dress comfortable. Remember the extremities are going to be tested. If wear some comfortable, comfortable pants so you can roll up your, your pants above the knee. Uh, and also uh, wear a t-shirt too so you can give the doctors access to your shoulders and and to your uh, and to your arms well with that with that being said uh, if you like the information on this video uh, please uh, press a like you can leave a comment that you want and if you want to subscribe then please do I'm going to uh, come out with uh, many more videos and this is a brand new channel so I definitely need your uh, support I'm also coming out with uh, videos that have to do with bettering our health and living a longer, uh, prosperous life. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.